Clarence have you been to Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson after the, the draw here at Tunbridge Robbie what was your feelings after that one well, feelings now are obviously frustration, um, disappointment. We haven't taken all three points. Uh, and that's been a story of the, the recent run of draws. We feel like we've, performance-wise, done enough to be the better team, but not quite had uh, that conviction to, to make sure we win the game. And we're, we're drawing too many games at the minute. Um, we are on the right side of those draws, uh, and that's probably even more frustrating that when you're, when you're the team in ascendancy it, you need to make it pay and, and Taunton was the same last Saturday you know they they ended up playing for a draw last half hour and it was the same same today obviously Tombridge with 10 men um, sometimes against 10 men you need to you need the opposition to have belief that they can nick a winner and not play for the draw and try and win it because then you can catch them out of shape um, but, but they didn't they were obviously very content w with the draw right from um, well, right from the moment the sending off, really, when they were 1-0 up, they were content and just um, stayed very disciplined. Fair play to them. They stayed very disciplined where they were rarely out of shape. Um, of course, we'd like to be better, and I feel like we did open them up a few times. Um, and so I think the players need to have some personal pride to hit the target. Um, we had three or four shots where we should have at least hit the target. Um, two, two in particular. Um, and, and also when we when we create good positions in behind them, when we do manage to get in behind them, we need to make better decisions then. So we were cutting the ball back when we should have flashed it across or flashed a shot towards a far post and we were flashing ones across too too fast when the cutbacks were on. So it's just recognising those um, those instances and making better decisions. Um, we work on it in training a lot and, and it's very good. You know, you've, you've seen us train, it's very, very good. Um, but the players, it's not enough to do it well in training. The players need to have some personal pride and, and conviction in a match scenario because, because points are on the line. And I feel like uh, we can probably say that each of our draws have been points dropped. Maybe not, maybe not Slough um, because of the circumstances there. But certainly the last three, have, uh, although we've been undefeated, we feel like we should have um, won all of those games based on our performance. So... Um, yeah, look, look, so we'll, we'll keep working hard as normal. The lads are, you can't fault the lads' effort today, that's for sure. Um, that's for sure. So we need to make them feel relaxed enough on the pitch, but give them that drive to have that conviction. And um, we need to make sure they're in a mentally good place to do that. I suppose it sort of summed up our season in a way, doing almost everything right apart from the most important bit of the top end. Yeah, nearly men at the minute. We're nearly men. Um, We've only we've only lost three games, but and and drawn seven, I think now. And I think all of those seven, maybe Bar Yeovil, who I thought played very well on the day, and it was a very even game. Um, we should be winning those, really. If 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 we want to be a team that's hungry to get success this season, we need to be turning those draws into victories, and um, we'll be working hard to do so for sure. Yeah, and uh, there was a couple of missing players, so Callum Watson and Anthony Wordsworth, and have others. Any updates on on the squad as, as in general, I suppose? Yeah, injured Anil. Um, Dave took part in his first um, sort of. Uh, not not passive training. He was he was in amongst it today in the warm up. So really pleased to see that. Hopefully he comes through okay. So he's probably a week maybe if he can get a week's training in, he can be up for considera consideration potentially next Saturday. Um, yeah, Callum's injured. Uh, Woody was ill overnight, unfortunately. Um, and we're hoping that we potentially will have one more added to the squad um, before Tuesday's game. Hopefully, um, we uh, we feel like. We feel like we need. I think I mentioned last week. I feel like we we need that extra um, impetus up top, something something different um, to help the others as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll have that done before Tuesday. I suppose when when we're knocking on the door like that, it's last year we had a lot of late goals and they're not sort of going for us. I remember last the game with Tunbridge at home and Liam Trotter scored from 30 yards. Those sort of moments that someone someone hit the bar and that free kick. Those sort of moments aren't quite happening.
happening for us. Yeah, and it's one of them. When they when they happen, they tend to keep happening, yeah. and when they don't, they tend to keep not happening. And and generally, that is players running towards the opposition goal and and getting themselves in a position to miss. But at the, at the minute, there it looks as though they don't want to get themselves in that position because they're worried they might miss. And I think that's the case with a number of our players' confidence at the minute. And we need to help them. You know, we've got we've got a duty to help them. Me, even the fans, we've got a duty to encourage them to keep getting in there. And it's it's okay if they miss because then they'll be loose enough and and focused enough that they'll concentrate on that football. They'll hit the target. They'll make a good decision in that final third. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's a weird. I say we're nearly men, but we're nearly a very good team that are nearly winning lots of football matches by a number of goals. Um, we know nearly isn't good enough to be successful. We know that, um, and we're working hard at it. And I truly believe that when we get that one late goal or or that game where it does go for us. Um, that we'll go on a run. We'll, we'll confidence will be high, and we'll go on a run, and then we'll be talking about not getting complacent, um, which I felt like we did do after seven games gone when we were undefeated. Um, I was, I was disappointed. I have to say, I was disappointed how we started today. I don't think we've started well since the Western game, where we started yeah, unbelievably well. Um, so that, that, that's going to be something we're going to we're going to speak about as well. We need to start games better because otherwise. Um, um, it's tough to build your way into a game when you start poorly. We need to start on the front foot for sure. And how do you look forward to Tuesday? Because uh, we got Braintree as an Essex derby, but Dartford is is one of the big derbies for us as, as a club. The amount of times we played them lately and in our past as well in the Southern League day. So I suppose that's a a good game to have. I suppose on Tuesday, a big derby. Yeah, um, really looking forward to it. You know, it's a, it's a great setup down there, of course, and um, a lovely pitch. I went to watch some. Tuesday play against um, Western um, good game two different styles that day um, I think it'll be a different um, certainly a different game to today um, even with 11-11 it'll certainly be a different game um, but one we're really looking forward to OK we'll look forward to that one on, on Tuesday then and uh, lucky today to me Cheers mate